good evening all of you good evening we'll wait for everyone to join good evening good evening everyone i'll just type in the chat box hi all good evening hey everyone i can see hi dr verma hi dr thakran hi sunil hi dr rahman good evening everyone hey dr thakran how are you hello dr roshni hey yuvraj so we'll wait for some some of you to join and then we'll start good evening everyone so first of all congratulations since now you are here in this youtube channel which means that you all want to join pediatrics so a big congratulations to all of you we'll wait for a few more to join and then we'll start so in the meanwhile uh, all of you you can just introduce yourself you can uh, type in the chat box about your ranks how was your experience of your journey with dams you can type in the chat box how was pediatrics just type something in the chat box in the meanwhile we'll start so we'll wait for two more minutes and then we'll start so everyone you can type in the chat box just type 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 let's start with the introductions about yourself and how was your journey i see I, i like one comment in the chat box someone has summed it all uh, dr verma has, is saying in the chat box pediatrics is the cuter smarter and funnier version of medicine you mean pediatrics or me so let's go further and uh, let's first talk about uh, pediatrics as a career and uh, i'd like to introduce myself uh, all of you my name is uh, siddharth sethi Uh, i did my uh, md pediatrics from ucms delhi i did my uh, senior residency from all india institute uh, my fellowship in pediatric nephrology from all india institute from i did my uh, fellowship in pediatric nephrology from us and then uh, also uh, from other countries from uk so uh, since last 12 years i am a practicing uh, pediatric nephrologist and a kidney transplant physician so uh, i work in a hospital here in gurgaon since last 12 years so i'm one of the antique doctors in this hospital since last 12 years <clears throat> so before you know we start and i'll take your individual questions i'd like to share with you guys that maybe all of you who are sitting here right now in this youtube video in the chat box first of all you need to ask yourself you know whether you want to be a pediatrician or you want to be you are just taking pediatrics for the sake of it so uh, the main word i would like to highlight here is passion so guys i never wanted uh, i never thought about money in my life and i still don't think about money it's all about passion so 
if you are really passionate about pediatrics, you really uh, are young at heart. Uh, these are some of my patients. She's one of my transplant patients from Russia. Uh, you need to be patient. So people who join pediatrics, they have a different aptitude. Okay, so they are not like surgeons. They are not like orthopedicians. Okay, so they are different. So are you someone who can empathize, can communicate well, is patient? Okay, and not like a typical orthopedician. So remember that as a pediatrician, I would like to tell you guys that uh, I usually children don't talk to me much. Usually we talk to the mothers and the parents. So it is like we are dealing with the whole family. Okay, so don't think that pediatrics is just about seeing a child, treating a child. In fact, you have to deal with the whole family. Okay, so do remember that, that you have to be a very well uh, communicator, which you will learn with life. Okay, I was also a very impatient kind of doctor initially, but with age, you know, and as with experience now, you know, now we are a better communicator with age. So pros of uh, pediatrics is that uh, we love what we do and we do what we love. So uh, this is in fact the same patient I showed you just now from Russia. She was transplanted around 10 years back and she really loved me. She still does. So pediatrics is a good branch. You, it, you smile every day. It's stimulating. You learn every day something new like in medicine. So like it, it is like a medicine only. You learn every day something new. It's challenging. It's rewarding if you're dealing with babies. Uh, of course, it is satisfying. Now, the pros are that, of course, you will always have a door for private practice. So in pediatrics, you always have, you know, you can easily do private practice. Any day of your life, if you feel that you just want to open a clinic, you can open a clinic anywhere, start private practice. Of course, making a practice whether it's obs gynae or medicine making a practice having a clientage of a lot of patients it takes time like if you open a shop you know your shop doesn't run in a day so of course you know it will take some time before people start to recognize you and start referring patients to you but yes there is a lot of scope of private practice there's no doubt about it in private practice now uh of course, there is a scope to develop a lot of special interests like uh, I am doing right now. I, I, I have a special interest in kidney transplantation, special interest in dialysis in children. So this is what I do. And if you just maybe Google about me on, on the Internet, you will find that since I'm passionate about this thing, I, I, I do, you know, I do a lot of academics, research, a lot of things in the same area because I do and I like what I do now the cons uh, I just uh, read someone in the chat box about work-life balance guys uh, what is work-life balance what is the definition of work-life balance I think it all depends on what you are doing in your life to me you know pediatrics is uh, my life so even in the middle of the night even tonight at 2 a.m. if I get a call from the hospital I don't mind going to the hospital and I don't think that is that means I have a bad work-life balance it all depends on your state of mind so by work-life balance I don't think guys at your level you should start thinking about work-life balance your next few years is to learn so I think d devote your life and the next few years in learning okay don't start thinking about you know family balance and work life balance you know try to find happiness in what you are doing if you are not happy after joining your md seat then you are in a wrong seat join only a seat which makes you feel happy okay don't think my parents told me to join pediatrics my boyfriend told me to join pediatrics it's not about that join what makes you feel happy even in the middle of the night every day going to the clinic it should make you feel happy okay so join that of course yes you will have night duties for at least for the next 
I would say next six years, you should be doing night duties. Okay, so I have done night duties for almost nine years of my life. Uh, but yes, that is how you learn in your life. When you are right in the middle of the night, you are alone in the emergency. That is a time when you really apply your mind and you learn. So, yeah, but part time working can be problematic in pediatrics. So you cannot be, you know, doing part time jobs in a lot of hospitals because we do have sick patients. So we do think about joining maybe one hospital and the other hospital. Now there's a question in the chat box. Someone is asking me, sir, should I join pediatrics or medicine? If you have not thought about, if you think, if you're equating pediatrics with medicine, you are wrong. Okay, so if you, if you're confused about medicine versus pediatrics, I would suggest take medicine. Okay. I, I cannot imagine uh, myself, you know, seeing geriatric patients. So maybe after medicine, yes, uh, maybe you have a lot of uh, patients. Suppose you join endocrine after medicine, of course, you'll get a lot of patients. So pediatrics is a different specialty altogether. You cannot equate pediatrics with medicine. Okay. So if you have still not decided, uh, Dr. Komal, what to take in your life, then maybe medicine is the way to go, okay? Those who join pediatrics are really the ones who really are passionate about pediatrics. They are not confused like you, okay? So don't mind Dr. Komal, but I think if you are confused, maybe, you know, medicine will give you more patients. You'll have a lot of geriatric patients and uh, you can see those uh, patients and uh, find happiness in your life. So, of course, pediatrics is mostly a high intensity branch. So, even in the middle of the night, you will get calls for newborn babies. You can do a, you can run a short clinic. Like if you want to run a short, small clinic, you can run a clinic and earn lots of money with just vaccination also. But still, it is uh, possible that most of the time you will have to attend some newborn deliveries throughout your life in between. Okay, so now that we have talked about some pros and cons, uh, let me uh, talk about the issues which you are asking me. And I can see a lot of students in the chat box talking about uh, Dr. Sandhu talking about DCH, Dr. Vridhi talking about DCH. See, listen to me carefully. If you can get MD pediatrics in any government hospital of India, MD is always better. Okay. Any, any periphery MD is still better because you know MD is the name is uh, it looks better though MD is equal to DNB. Don't ever think that MD is not equal to DNB. MD and DNB are now completely same. Okay. So, but still if you can get MD, try to join MD. Number two, it is easy to pass MD. You know, your examiners, your guide is most of the time, you know, he knows your examiners. It is very easy to pass MD pediatrics as compared to DNB. DNB is a very good course. It's a very well-structured course. And uh, so you have a very well-structured exam also in DNB. So DNB is now a very good branch and it is a very good stream. But Yes, you need to be thorough in pediatrics to really pass DNB because your examiners will be completely different. Your examiner may be, you know, someone who is in some other state and you may have exam somewhere else. So if you do not get MD, yes, DNB is a good option, uh, Dr. Pandey and Dr. Jan. DNB is a good option. Okay. Of course, uh, if you are... Staying in Delhi, yes, Gangaram is a good option for DNB, pediatrics. St. Stephen's is a very good option. There is no doubt about it. Okay. Now, lastly, if you are really passionate about pediatrics, you always thought about someone like me who always thought about uh, doing pediatrics in life and never uh, ever thought about anything else. And this shot of your neat PG was your best shot. So this was your best shot and you are sure that uh, 
maybe the next shot may not be the same so you can take dch you can take dch if you are really passionate about it if you are someone like dr komal who was not sure about you know medicine versus pediatrics then don't take dch if you are not really sure about pediatrics then why to take dch maybe join md in some other branch uh, like maybe md anesthesia is a very good branch mt pharmacology is a very good branch so dch is only for the die hard ones you know who really wanted to be a pediatrician there's a question in the chat box about uh, dnb passing percentage so yeah passing percentage is nowadays improving in dnb it is much much better nowadays but still if it is 50 to 60% here in md it is almost more than 90% chance that you will be passing so try to join md if possible in a peripheral even in a periphery uh, government hospital that will be completely fine see listen to me carefully learning is a lifelong process don't ever think that you will become a pediatrician in these 3 years no way these 3 years are just for passing your exam okay you will learn lot of things like critical care dialysis bronchoscopies it is a lifelong process okay so this these 3 years are just for passing your exam guys i don't know who taught you that you know these 3 years you need to be uh, learning everything intubation everything you have a life to learn get a get a degree okay and then of course you can join senior residency in some uh, government hospital in a big tertiary center and learn lot of things okay now there are a lot of uh, in the chat box there are a lot of students asking some personal you know like specific questions like what should be the preference in delhi what should be the preference in rajasthan so uh, maybe what i'll do is i will uh, also tell you about my email address and on insta i know most of you have moved on to instagram and are not on facebook anymore so i'm on instagram on siddharth sethi so i do uh, some uh, some quiz uh, for uh, pg aspirants on the instagram so maybe you can ask me there and i would like all of you to know that dr sachin aroda from psychiatry has made a very good list of medical colleges from all over the country and you can follow the same for pediatrics also so whether you are from gujarat or rajasthan or madhya pradesh maharashtra you can follow the same list which dr sachin aroda has made okay okay so we talked about this let's let's talk about dch we have already talked about dch that if you are really a die hard kind of person only for pediatrics never thought about doing anything else in your life i would say all mds are good there is a scope of md anesthesia there is a scope of md pathology there is a huge scope even for pharmacology so guys if you can get a md your your life becomes easier someone was talking about sir work life balance so md will give you a work, good work life balance dnb and uh, dch will you know still should be after an uh, md in a government hospital okay now senior residency the issue is is pediatrics a 3 year affair and the answer is if you are in a sh small city a second tier or third tier city uh, and you want to open your own hospital your own clinic then 3 years of md pediatrics is fine but if you are working in a metro if you are working in say delhi hyderabad bangalore pune mumbai then you know you need to learn more so personally speaking i would suggest either do a super specialization or a senior residency because i told you you don't learn everything in those 3 years of your pg so you need to do something more after your pg maybe spend that time in getting a super specialization or senior residency see all the pediatricians 
are practicing neontologists. So in our country, we are we are more than thirty thousand pediatricians. Okay, so we are all you know members of Indian Academy of Pediatrics. I'm also a fellow of Indian Academy of Pediatrics. So everyone is practicing neontology. So maybe you need to learn more after your PG. So you should join either a super specialization or a senior residency. Okay. Now uh, someone is saying, sir, is there an age bar in DNB? So basically, it's not like that. Uh, it's about think and ask yourself if this was your best shot. Then of course, go for MD or DNB or DCH in this order. MD from a government hospital. DNB in a good institute is good. Okay, followed by a DCH. Okay. I, I like this picture of mine. Uh, this is uh, one of my patient from Kenya and uh, she this is almost a 10 year old picture. So she is now a, a, a beautiful tall uh, girl and I'll send I'll show you a picture when she comes back to me to visit me in India. So she has changed. So have I. So let's talk about super specializations. Now uh, there's a student in the chat box Dr. Rajan saying do we really need to do super specializations? And the answer is actually it depends on your own passion. If you are working in a metro, yes, super specialization will give you an edge over the others. Okay, if you are working in a metro. Otherwise, 99.9% .9 of pediatricians in our country are only MD pediatrics or DCH pediatrics and they are practicing neontology. They are not even DM neonatology. So if you have to, it depends on what you plan to do later in your life, where you want to settle down. Okay, if you want to settle down in a, say, in a small city, you don't need to do super specialization. In fact, you will be restricting yourself by doing a super specialization. Okay, but in big metros, yes, super specialization does give you a, a, an edge over the others. Okay. So Diploma DCH, Dr. Khan, I've already discussed that it depends if you were really passionate about pediatrics, you cannot get anything else. This was your best shot. Then, of course, you can go for DCH. But still, uh, after DCH also, there is a scope that you can do a secondary DNB later on. So after DCH, you can go for a secondary DNB later on, which will be of two years. Scope of neonatology, of course. Like I said, all the pediatricians are practicing neontologists in our country. 99% of the neontologists in our country are not DM neontology. Okay, they are mostly MD pediatrics and they are running their own centers. So there is a huge scope of neonatology. There is no doubt about it. Okay, vaccination, seeing normal babies will give you a lot of money. If it, it was all about money to you, Neonatology vaccination will give you a lot of money. Okay, so there is a scope of neontology, and of course, there are a lot of neontology fellowships also. It is not just DM. In our country, we have a lot of fellowships in neonatology, a lot of fellowships in uh, pediatric endocrine, and a uh, lot of more branches like intensive care. There are a lot of Indian Academy of Pediatrics fellowships of in pediatric intensive care. There's a pediatric intensive care fellowship by the Indian Society of Critical Care Medicine. There are a lot of fellowships also available. So DM. Now NEET SS is a very good exam. So all of you should be, if possible, give a NEET SS. Okay. And at DAMS, you know, we are like, you know, like LIC, we are PG se pehle bhi, PG ke baad bhi. So we are with you, you know. So now uh, I run a course for even NEET SS also. So on the eMedicos app. So there's a course by me for master classes for pediatrics on eMedicos app. There's a course for NEET SS. So I would suggest at least give a NEET SS exam after your MD. Okay. This will give you, you know, a lot of uh, options. So NEET SS is good. Fellowships are available in many branches like I just told you whether it's endocrine, intensive care, neonatology, lot of fellowships are available still. 
especially I will again repeat neonatology fellowships, pediatric intensive care fellowships, pediatric endocrine, a few of pediatric nephrology and so on. DM seats have increased. I recently got a, got a call from PGI that PGI has now 11 DMs in pediatrics. So 11 subspecialty DMs have opened up in PGI, including pediatric rheumatology, pediatric pulmonology, pediatric intensive care, pediatric nephrology. So there are some centers who have started DMs also in pediatrics. Okay. So first of all, become an MD. Why are you rushing for fellowships? Dr. Jan, I would like to talk to you. Once you have done your MD, then talk to me about fellowships. Now, I, I can see, uh, I can see uh, some of the students have a confusion. Sir, should I join MD pediatrics or medicine? Beta, if after your MD, ideally you have to join, if you are if joining DM, you have to join a DM in pediatric super specialty only. Don't think I will do pediatrics and then I will go for adult DM cardiology. Those days have gone. Now the new neat SS pattern will have questions on MD medicine also and cardiology. So please, if you are planning to join an adult DM after your pediatrics, please, please do not join MD pediatrics. Okay. If you want to join an adult cardiology later on, adult nephrology later on, please do not waste a branch of some other student who could join, you know, MD pediatrics. Okay, you're getting my point? Because if you join an adult DM after your MD pediatrics, your pediatricians will not acknowledge you because you are an adult DM. Your adult DM colleagues will not acknowledge you because you are an MD pediatrics. So they will say that you should be a pediatric cardiologist. So they'll only give you patients of pediatric cardiology. So try to, you know, join a DM of pediatric super specialty. Don't waste a branch of uh, a pediatrician. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Munjal. Uh, Dr. Jan is asking about fellowships. Dr. Jan, uh, see me once you join a, a MD, MD or a DNB. See me after that. Now, what about MRCPCH? I get a lot of emails from you guys. Sir, you have not even joined MD and you are thinking about going for MRCPCH. Guys, I am MRCPCH. I am even a, a FRCPCH. I recently got fellowship from the Royal College of Pediatrics and Child Health UK. And this September, I will be going to London to collect my fellowship. But it is of no use. Okay, this is just, I've just collected some degrees, but I can tell you this is only of use, number one, if you want to join Middle East. In Middle East, you may get a lot, um, you know, you may get more money if you are MRCPCH, if you want to join Saudi Arabia, Dubai, Oman, then MRCPCH is good. In our country, MRCPCH is just an added thing. No one recognizes that, okay? You will not get money in India after going through 3 lakh rupees. So you'll have easily spend 3 lakh rupees to get this tag to you, okay? So don't, right now is not a time to talk about MRCPCH or FRCPCH. We'll talk about this later, okay? It does not give you anything, okay? Now someone is asking about some medical legal cases. But now medical legal cases are in every specialty. Okay. So, of course, you know, your note should be complete. You should have a, a, a legal insurance and indemnity insurance with you. Everyone has an ind indemnity insurance these days. Your note should be complete. Of course, you have to talk to the families. That is true for every branch. You tell me a branch which does not have a medical legal implications. Okay. So it is everywhere. It's not just about pediatrics. It's everywhere, whether it's orthopedics, vascular surgery, transplantation, everywhere. Pediatrics is good because uh, you don't need a lot of money for setup. You can easily set up a clinic. You can tag yourself with some obstetrician and, you know, 
collect the babies and you can get a lot of money by that okay so cost of setup is not too much in pediatrics uh, if you want to even run a short niku you you all you need is just few niku machines cpap machines so we just have uh, half of neonatology is all about cpap so you just need few cpap machines and you can run a niku also so that's a, a pro part of uh, pediatrics government jobs all of you uh, please talk to modi ji we don't have a lot of government jobs yet in our uh, in our country so but it doesn't mean uh, that you will not do good i can tell you guys uh, maybe 12 years back i wanted to join a government job but then uh, i did not join a government job and i can i can tell you in front of all of you right now that i have done much much better than my colleagues who joined a government job okay and i i could prove myself so guys uh, there are less government jobs for sure in all specialties so you are not joining md or dnb today to become a a, a doctor in a government setup those teaching jobs are very less in our country we don't have lot of jobs so it depends on you if you if you really stick around in a government institute you will get this okay we don't have dnb pediatrics in medanta yet it is coming very soon though in the next few years so uh, now is the time to take some personal questions but before i go to the personal questions guys i am happy to share with you that since last two years i am running a course on e medicos it's called master classes so today maybe you can just go on e medicos app and just look at the master classes so what i do is that since last two years almost every week i have done a class so we have almost 150 uh, lectures available on the e medicos app and these are lectures cases presentations guidelines which you need to know so and even i have uh, lectures on you know how to how to work in the first year pg how to discuss and which you know which topic you should take for your thesis so there are many interesting things which you which will help you in your pg life when you are right there in the middle of the night in the emergency you can just put your ear pods on and listen to one of my lecture yeah. it will make you a better pg i can tell you now uh, i have a student asking about uh, why is dnb peds having low passing rate because pediatricians you know they are good clinicians so they expect a lot clinical stuff from you guys so if you're joining dnb pediatrics of course you'll have to work more you'll have to read more definitely join the e medicos course of master classes medicine versus peds again the same question if you're really confused about medicine versus peds maybe take medicine okay pediatricians is all about you know people who really want to work with babies i know you may ask me sir how do i know that i can be a good pediatrician maybe spend some time in a in a government setup over the next few days you still have time for your counseling just spend some time and uh, if you can get an idea don't come to my clinic my clinic is a very different clinic and uh, my of course you are welcome to see me in my clinic but uh, my clinic is a different clinic and since i have made it over the last one decade so you will not be actually doing that stuff because it takes time to build up those things but maybe go to a, a smaller setup go to a government hospital see how uh, pediatricians work there now this is a very good question someone is asking dnb in a good institute or md in a private college see if you can get a dnb in a good institute of course it is a good deal there is no doubt about it of course if you are getting dnb in a good institute look at whether they have really academics there or not if you have academics in that dnb hospital whether it's in delhi or mumbai or pune you can join that now i cannot tell you about joining a private college it depends on your uh, you know your circumstances okay 
So DNB in a government college is of course a very good deal. Okay. So please look at the academics in your hospitals. If academics are still, if they are good, like you are in say St. Stephen's, then you can join that hospital. Okay. Now for list of institutions, please talk to Dr. Sachin Arora, psychiatry. He'll give you a very good list, uh, which he has made over the years of all the states. And you can follow the same list for pediatrics also. There's not much difference between uh, different specialties in that list. Now, over and over, people are asking about work-life balance. Beta, it is the time to learn over the next few years. So why don't you enjoy this phase of life? Why are you scared about work-life balance? If you're so scared about work-life balance, maybe join a startup somewhere else. Don't be a doctor, okay? If you are a doctor, enjoy this phase of life. You know, enjoy learning every day, learning new things, read about patients. I can tell you over the last many years, whatever I have accomplished in my life, I have accomplished all because there were a lot of patients for whom I wanted to do something extra for those patients. I wanted to do maybe get them a new drug, maybe get them a new treatment. And uh, we were able to do it in the last many years. And that is how, you know, I define success. So it is not about work-life balance. It's about making you feel happy from inside. Okay. So uh, DNB Peds, if, uh, if you are really die hard for DNB, for pediatrics, and you don't have an option of MD, even in a peripheral setup, then you should join DNB Pediatrics, okay? So first, of course, you have to go for MD, okay? Because MD still has a good tag, easier to pass as compared to DNB. Even in a peripheral setup if you can get it even in the most periphery part of the country in a government setup you should take md any other questions everyone in the meanwhile i'll just type my email address and my instagram because i have recently realized you guys are not on facebook anymore so i had to hunt you down on instagram so here uh, is my instagram id now here's a question sir i want to do neonatology later on of course, even after DCH, you can join deontology. There are, I can tell you, there are almost hundreds of fellowships even available for neontology. There's a, a NNF fellowship by the National Neontology Forum. So maybe, you know, contact me after you join your DCH or MD. I can tell you a, a list of a uh, lot of institutes which are offering fellowships. And most of them are from the NNF fellowships. DM is not essential, Dr. Joseph. If you're only if you're working in a big metro city nowadays, uh, some DM students have slashed, slowly started coming up. It's just the beginning of having some DM uh, consultants in our institutes. So DM is not essential. You can be a practicing neonatologist with MD pediatrics. Dr. Bipradeep is asking me, sir, what are the options for DM? Uh, why don't you join MD first and then we'll tell you the options for DM. Uh, PGI has 11 pediatric super specialty DMs. And there are many DMs which are, you know, which are not many students are still appearing for it. So there are a lot of options in PGI, a lot of options at All India Institute, St. John's Medical College, a lot of DMs coming up. Of course, yes, Dr. Rahman, you can join fellowships after DCH. Neat SS, 
all of you should give there is no doubt about it you should all try your luck at the, at the neat ss because this is a very good way to join dm oblique fnbs also nowadays we have fnbs in super specialties fellowships by the national board so there are a lot of fellowships so they are all through the neat ss exam any other questions anyone so if you really wanted to be a pediatrician guys simple i i have only one sentence for you if you really wanted to be a pediatrician join it now there's a student uh, who is saying sir i don't like collecting blood etc will i develop a liking after i join uh, dr rajan is asking this it's like you know arrange marriage uh, someone is asking me in the chat box sir will i develop a love after arrange marriage um, i have no idea about that okay so i believe in love marriage so guys you know you sh i believe you should be in love with your branch and then join you know a branch rather than you know falling in love later on now someone is ask, asking a dm gastroenterology uh, sanjay gandhi pgi has lot of uh, dms in pediatric hepatology pediatric gastroenterology sanjay gandhi pgi has pdcc post doctoral certificate course in pediatric gastro pediatric hepatology and even in uh, endocrinology so sanjay gandhi pgi has lot of uh, these branches available even in delhi in uh, ilbs institute of liver and biliary sciences they also have uh, dms available for pediatric hepatology pediatric gastroenterology pediatric hepatology is coming up very fast now a lot of my friends are involved in uh, pediatric liver transplant in multiple institutes of uh, delhi gurgaon chennai so a lot of institutes are coming up with pediatric liver transplants but guys why don't you join pediatrics first so i would like to you know on behalf of the dams family congratulate you that now you are here talking about pediatrics and i would also like to welcome you all to the gang of pediatricians you like to do pediatrics and here you are please join pediatrics and i'll see you there surely and uh, of course join this e medicos course and uh, I, we will will be there you know mentoring you always so if you are uh, still thinking of so ask yourself guys if this was your first shot or not so uh, dr vinay if this was your first shot and this was not your best shot you can try again but if this was your best shot then uh, join what takes you through the way of pediatrics okay guys uh, now ev i <laughs> on instagram i'm seeing everyone has the same story toxic hai yaar toxic guys toxicity is a you know it's a state of mind why don't you enjoy uh, yes in the first 2 years of your md you have to try to stay in the hospital why are you even thinking about going for a movie guys stay in the hospital enjoy that life make friends with your colleagues make friends with your nurses chechis and chetas make be friends with them enjoy this you'll remember this throughout your life okay so toxic is again a state of mind okay so if you are staying there you are one of the hard worker guys you you work there you literally stay there enjoy that if you can't enjoy that don't join pediatrics okay you may feel i'm i'm i was a bit rude but yes if you if you can't enjoy this then maybe join something else you know which gives you more happiness ultimately in life the only thing which matters is happiness 
it doesn't matter what your parents said what your boyfriend said what your fiance told you all that matters is you know what makes you happy every day whenever you go to the hospital okay now someone wants to treat adults after md pediatrics please don't do that okay don't waste a pediatric seat if you want to see adults after this join md medicine right now okay don't waste a branch of us pediatrics guys okay so enjoy okay enjoy this state of life okay we all became doctors because we like to be doctors okay did we become doctors just to earn money if you had to earn money you know you had you could have opened a you know a restaurant you could have opened a bar you could have earned more money than being a doctor today so you became a doctor for the passion of medicine okay so enjoy this state of life and enjoy pediatrics and this will give you a lot of happiness and satisfaction okay yes being in a pediatrics ward is happiness yes okay so that was all for the day guys uh, please feel free to mail me or tag me on insta and uh, we'll continue this conversation okay and uh, if you join pediatrics uh, join our uh, pediatrics master classes and a uh, lot of things lot of videos uh, this this conversation will go on okay it is not stopping here we'll keep on talking about this also later on also okay i hope uh, this session was useful to all of you and on behalf of the dams family i wish you all the best in life and i'll see you of course on the other side uh, i do lot of meetings lot of academics research in pediatrics so i will surely see you on the other side i do a lot of workshops in fact next week i'm doing a workshop for uh, pgs of haryana on uh, dialysis and uh, acute kidney injury so next week i'm doing a workshop in haryana uh, on 18th of this month so of course i'll see you okay thank you good night and all the best good night